Here's a quick tip from Alice, the designer of the Wonder Ruler. Instead of turning the ruler, flip the fabric. You'll be surprised at how much faster it is. I'm Karen Johnson and this demo is for the Wonder Cut Ruler. I have to say, this is my new favorite way to make half square triangles. I used to not like making them and now I love them. The key to this method is pre-sewing your strips together, which I'll show you in a minute. We'll also use this ruler to make the three color pinwheel. So there's the half square triangles that you can make. And there's the pinwheel and this is the one three color block that is comprised of the pinwheel. Let me tell you about the benefits of this ruler. First, you don't have to worry about raw edges. Um, the bias edges are sewn in before you even handle them. You can make a ton of half square triangles without stopping at one time. And you don't need a magic formula or you don't have to in fact even do any math at all. And the ruler is long enough that you can use it for all the strip preparation. You don't have to use any other rulers. In fact, you shouldn't use any other rulers to um, make your strips. So let me point out a few things. There are horizontal lines which are these, and there are numbers along the line, along the left side. There are diagonal lines, and there's a cut along this edge, which kind of makes the ruler sort of um, stupid proof <laughs> for people like me. Here's the half square triangle we're going to make, and this one is going to be a four inch unfinished. So the one and only number you need to remember for this entire exercise is the number four. Simple, huh? So layer your contrasting fabrics right sides together. You put two of them together. Pretend this isn't cut for a second. Look for the number four on the horizontal lines. Look for the cut along this edge and then cut. You have your strips ready. Now, keep your, keeping your two contrasting fabrics right sides together. This is what it did look like. This is what it's going to look like. So a one quarter inch seam down each side to form kind of like a tube. So there's your contrasting fabrics. You do it all the way along the length of the fabric. So place your Wonder Cut ruler on the strip. Notice we've got the stitching on both sides. There's the number four that we're remembering, and that's the only number we have to remember. Notice up here where the stitching is, the ruler, tip of the ruler is coming right to the edge of the stitching. We're not going to worry about the stitching because it's actually going to get cut off. So we're going to cut that side that side. Okay, look at this. This is the fun part. You have a half square triangle. Isn't that cool? Now you can keep on going. Flip the ruler to the other side of the strip. Notice that there's the four on the diagonal and notice that the tip again is right at the seam line. Cut right there. Keep going. You just keep flipping the ruler back and forth. In this particular example, making our um, four inch unit, you can get 18 half square triangles out of the width of 45 inches. Really nice, huh? So I'm not going to show you every single step on how to make this unit because the Wonder Cut Ruler comes with the step-by-step -step instructions and it's very easy. But um, it is a really cool shortcut, so I'm going to show you that basically for one side of your strip, you're going to piece. Tells, it gives you instructions on how to figure out the calculations. Kind of a checkerboard on one side and a solid on the other. Then you're going to sew the quarter inch seam allowance on both sides so that you have a tube just like you did before. Only one side of the tube is special. Now for the cutting. Just like you did before, you're going to use the diagonal lines. In this case we're using a five inch unfinished block, so I'm looking for the number five. I'm centering it using this line. I don't know if you can see this, but that's the seam of the one side. And when it's aligned, it comes just to that tip, just like before. And cut. And magically, I swear this is so cool, you have one unit for your pinwheel block. Keep on doing it just like before. Center it in front of each seam, and you've got as many units as you need. Make four of these, press them open, and you have enough for a pinwheel block. I love this ruler.